Hello guys, what's up? Here is Thomas. Thanks for clicking to this video. We're going to talk about Vipassana. Vipassana meditation or if you want Vipassana meditation, what it is and what to expect. Of course I have done it. I was very curious about it after I heard about it and uh, I've done it. You can do it anywhere in the world. I've done it in England. Each country has its own uh, ways it's a little bit different but basically the same basically what it is vipassana it's a type of meditation it's a retreat program where you meditate for 10 days from morning till evening with other people and during those 10 days you are not allowed to speak at all why do you do this it is um, good for everyone of any any religion or no religion doesn't matter, everyone who wants to go away from the busy life, from the city or whatever, and switch off completely, have like a mind detox. It's very good for that. And the good thing is that the organization who does Vipassana meditations around the world is not charging anything for that, it's free. Even the food provided, hot food, all the meals you get there while you stay there, which is vegetarian, it's free of charge. At the end of your Vipassana, on the 10th day, if you want, you can give a donation, but it's not necessary. And uh, so I done mine in England. I went online, Google it, found the website, filled out the form. These meditations, they are done continuously. So when one starts, a new, new people come, a new one continues and so on. I think the whole year in most of the countries all year round so I filled out the application there were still available spots I got approved in a few days and then I arrived a uh, few weeks later or a few months later to the place where it was uh, happening this uh, Vipassana retreat center in West England uh, I put my phone away into a locker of course there's no television no nothing like that we are not allowed to talk even to anyone and we started in the evening and uh, food was very good very good vegetarian food served by staff by volunteers by people who done vipassana meditation in the past now they do it part-time while they also work serve food cook food for you there was around uh, maybe 80 people doing it with me half men half women everything was led by one guy some experienced vipassana teacher he was english and we gathered in the hall where we were meditating on the left side were all just men and on the left, left the right side were women each were coming each group came through a different door so that's how it was organized so yes uh, the meditation uh, how it works uh, during the retreat you wake up in the morning around six o'clock then morning hygiene there are, you know like showers sinks all that is provided really the conditions are very good very good better than I expected then there is a breakfast still like no one is talking at all with anyone everything is in silence you get served your food it's really nice then there is first session meditation session and there is in total i think uh, five four or five meditation sessions during the day each around one hour long and they sorry they um and then you have breaks and lunch and dinner time for some reflection for walks and still you are not talking when you can start talking is on the 10th day in the afternoon uh, at your lunch you can talk and that's when you talk with your with your co-meditators about the experience um, what else I think on the th day three they allow you to talk to the, the guy who is leading all this meditations he's always sitting at the front facing the group 
and you can come for like a, a few minutes and have some talk with him, ask him questions, things like that. So everyone can come. Everyone should uh, do that. Uh, you feel very quiet, very peaceful. What it did to me, I mean, I didn't have any out-of-body experiences and stuff like that, but for f first few days I was just thinking, my mind, I was in peace and quiet, meditating, but just kept thinking a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, like on high gear about the past, about my past, about life, about things that had happened. Then after that, on day four, for next few days, I started to think about future, a lot about future. Every day, every meditation, all the time thinking, thinking. And then after, maybe on the day seven, my mind got in real peace. And I wasn't thinking about the past, I wasn't thinking about the future. I was just at peace, happy, I felt good, felt relaxed. Yeah, it was good for me, you know. And most of the people who went there had these kind of experiences. There is no really any negative or bad experience. I didn't see anyone leaving this uh, retreat prematurely or anything like that. Yeah, it's great they do this. I, I really appreciate it. It's free and they do a great job. This helps a lot of people. Many people have some kind of uh, spiritual experiences while they do this retreat. I didn't, uh, but at the end, on the last afternoon, when I, we were allowed to speak, I spoke with one scientist, a Russian scientist who was there. He told me that this is very good for the brain to do this uh, non-speaking thing for 10 days. Just like scientifically, it's really good for you. Mm. If I do it again, if I would do it again, I don't know. At the moment, I feel great. I don't. I was very curious. I was craving it, but I satisfied my hunger. I did it. So maybe I'm not planning uh, to do it again. I know many people who did it many times in their life. Often they expect you when you are applying to go there second, third, fourth time. You can do it in any country in the world, of course. They expect you to offer to be a volunteer and help with meals and stuff like that and just do part-time meditation uh, but I think that's fair and yeah great stuff I recommend uh, guys I recommend this to everyone so if you like the video share it with your friends share your experience uh, comment give it a like and uh, I'm looking forward to see you in another video bye guys